What's that? I'm interested in my sanding block. You mean the spring-loaded locking mechanism sanding block? All you gotta do is put a nail in there to lock it down. Take out your old sandpaper, replace it with the new one, and you're on your way. This one? If you're interested, stick around. I'll show you how to build one. Alright, so the first thing we did is made a couple blocks. You can make them out of scrap wood or you can make them out of a solid piece. And now you got to determine what size belt you want to do. So we're going to do a 14 by 2.5. So since it's 14, we're going to go, we're going to start off with a block that's 7 inches long. And then later on we'll creep up on it and make it fit really tight. So keeping it together, we're going to concentrate on making this spring mechanism. And we're going to drill the holes in first before we cut this off. So that way there, Everything's going to line up really nice. Alright, so we just drilled uh, two 3 8 holes to accept the wooden dowels. Now we're going to send a uh, 3 16 drill all the way through so it accepts the screw that we're going to put in there and then we'll counter bore it okay so we got all our holes drilled now we're going to cut cut off an inch and an eighth. Okay, so we got the three eighths holes to, to accept the dowels, and then we countersinked a three eighths hole to to accept the screw. And the inside, what we're going to do is counter bore a half inch to accept the spring that's going to go in there. We also put a half inch on the body side for the spring. Okay, so without moving anything, we're going to take out the half inch and replace it with the three eighths so that we can put this threaded insert in so that it'll accept the screw. So I got this threaded insert that accepts an Allen key, Allen wrench, kind of neat, which then we'll put this, the screw in, they'll catch that to hold it closed.
Now we'll just do a round over on just the top and bottom of the back side here. Okay, next what we need to do is find center of your block uh, and then mark it and then we'll take the this out and we'll be able to find out where the end of the dowel is. So mark that and then come in uh, about a half inch and we'll drill a hole there for our locking mechanism. Make sure before you drill it, make sure that you put your screw in and lock everything down so that the drill will go straight through the block and the dowel. Just to make it a little bit more comfortable to the hand, we'll put a couple finger grooves in with the router. We have everything we need. Cut out the block, glued our dowels, made all the holes and stuff. So this is how this works. You got your threaded insert in there. You put your spring in. You got the hole through the dowel for the locking mechanism. I guess that you could call this your adjusting screw. This is just an ordinary finish nail. Push down, put in the hole, locks it. Get your belt, slide it over, push it down. There. One deal. So there you have it, the spring-loaded sanding block, designed by Jim Hu. So you remember now, you can make them in smaller ones, medium size, even your larger. And even those one-inch belts that you have, you can make one for that, to get in those tight little corners. Uh, this one here, I put some cork on the bottom for a softer feel. But yeah, so I hope you make one of these. Uh, simple to do, fun to do, good for a present. For somebody that's a woodworker so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon